This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. It's not an unjust suffering in the end. If we all got what we deserved, we'd all be in hell. Uh, We'd be under the wrath of God. And that leads us to the gospel. I hope uh, you know this truth. Uh, because it, the truth begins with the bad news. It always has to begin with the bad news, and that is uh, that God is holy and we are not. Uh, we cannot be in the presence of God. We are sinful creatures. We have sinned against God. We are born sinful. We don't have to learn how to sin. Uh, um we, we, we are sinful creatures, and, and uh, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, and this is an eternal death in hell. But thank God that he is rich in mercy, and he sent his son to be a savior for us. He sent his son. He lived a perfect and sinless life on this earth. He was a sacrifice for us on that cross at Calvary. He died that death that, that we should have died. He raised himself up on the third day and conquered sin and death. That is the good news. If we would just believe in his son, believe in the work that he'd done, if you you believe in that, you will be born again. That's the good news of the gospel. That is the hope that we have in Christ. And that if you trust in Christ, uh, you'll no longer be a slave to sin. You'll no longer have desires uh, against God and desires against all that God says in his word, but you'll desire now to please the Lord. You'll be a new creation with new desires. Uh, that's the gospel. That's the gospel that we ought to pray that Jordan Peterson will believe. Uh, that's the gospel that if you're watching this, I hope that you uh, believe. Put your trust in Christ. He'll change your life. Uh, he'll change your life and and. Um, Whatever suffering that you're dealing with right now, whatever suffering that you will deal with, you'll understand that this is a momentary suffering. Uh, this is a light and momentary affliction because uh, we, we're living for eternity. We need to have an eternal perspective. Uh, we're, we're not living for this world, thank God, because this world uh, and this culture is falling apart. You could rightly say this world is going to hell. Uh, th- this world is, is uh, it's getting worse and worse, uh, and um, we need the hope of Christ. And we need the hope of Christ to be spread to others. That's the most important thing that we need right now. Uh, the most important thing that is that needs to be spread is the hope of Christ for everyone out there. For those that are afraid of a, of a virus. For those that are afraid of totalitarian rule, for those that are afraid of everything that's going on, there's an awful lot to be afraid of. There is great persecution that is coming for the Christian, but thank God we're not living for this world. Thank God we're not living for this world. We're living for eternity. We're living for Christ. We're living to bring Christ glory in all that we do, in all that we say, and Our attitudes every day should be done for the glory of God. So let us remember that as we see what's going on in the news. Let us remember that as we uh, see what's going on around us, as things continue to happen in our life or whatever. There might be suffering in your life. Uh, We're not living for this world. We're living for eternity. And if you're in Christ, then you can be greatly blessed with the great hope that Christ is returning and we will be with him forever in heaven.